Hey everyone, what I have here is Electrix XP Lite. This is Electrix's most affordable e-bike they have on the market starting at $7.99. I will go over everything that you need to know about this e-bike to ensure if this bike is right for you. If you're in the market for your first e-bike, I'll explain what to look out for and avoid simple mistakes that are commonly overlooked. The Electric XP Lite comes with a 48 volt battery, it takes roughly around 4 to 6 hours to charge. It's powered by a 300 watt rear hub motor with 5 levels of pedal assist. Pedal assist 1 ranging 40 miles and pedal assist 5 ranging to 15 miles at a top speed of 20 miles an hour. The twist auto can be activated after pedal assist 0. It also comes with a 160 millimeter mechanical disc brakes. Xiaoyang 2.6 inch by 20 inch tires. Weighs in 46 pounds, that includes with battery. The payload of this bike is 276 pounds with a rear rack holding 55 pounds. Has a backlit heads up LCD display that gives you speed and battery life. By pressing the power button, you can toggle through voltage, current, time, and trip. By holding the plus button, you turn on the front and rear headlights. If you're an experienced rider, then you can skip this section. I'm going to just explain what I've learned as a first-time e-bike rider. I was surprised by the amount of torque and power that e-bikes offer. You have to be careful where and when you use the e-bike's power potential. I became accustomed to using only throttle and this made me feel like I had total control of the e-bike. Basically, I'm saying just be responsible when you're riding. The power of this e-bike can get to your head. Also be aware to toggle at pedal assist one when coming to a stop or at a crosswalk. If you're making a turn or a launch at pedal assist five, you may lose control of your bike, resulting in a crash. This has happened to me multiple times where I'll forget I was at pedal assist five making a turn from a dead stop. This is something to be aware of if you've never rode an e-bike. Anyways, let's talk about pros and cons. The XP Lite weighs at a total of 46 pounds compared to other e-bikes that weigh over 60 pounds. This makes it easy to transport anywhere, either up or down the stairs. If I'm able to lift this bike, then the average rider would have no issues. I have mentioned before that the XP Lite is priced at $7.99, which makes it the most affordable and reliable e-bike. The look and feel of this e-bike has a good quality. You won't have to worry about the e-bike failing on you. The fact that the XP Lite is a stripped down version of the 2.0, there are less components to go bad. The only thing to really worry about is the single gear, bike chain, and the brakes. The hub motor is rated at 300 watts at peak level of 720 watts. Surprisingly for the size of this e-bike, it does have a kick to it. During my ride with this e-bike, I have never complained about the launch or speed. The perception of power on this e-bike could be biased because technically this is my first e-bike. There are other bikes in the market that are more powerful than this bike, but I never complain with this. I think this is a right fit. The maneuverability of this e-bike feels like a BMX. I'm able to make short U-turns, ride down curbs, grass, dirt, paved sidewalks, and narrow bike paths. I forgot to mention that Electric also offers free slime. This will give you more certainty riding on the roads more freely. As you can see that this bike has no suspension at all. At first, I thought I would be good without it, but you can feel every bump, especially at higher speeds. To combat this, I use my legs to absorb any shock. For a better ride, you're better off to ride on paved roads and to slow down on any road defects. When it comes to the front and rear lights, there's really nothing to brag about. The lights only have like about four to six feet of visibility. The only good quality of this really is for others to be aware of your visibility. Moving on from pros and cons, there are some minor details such as handlebars twisting over time, but they can be readjusted. It has a slight front and rear wheel wobble. I spoke to Electric's customer service and they told me this is normal when it comes to e-bikes. Front and rear brakes do screech and become more prominent over time the more you ride, but I think this is just a maintenance issue, so you just have to take care of your bike. I'm 5'5", weighing at 130 pounds, and I feel like this bike is designed for me. I think lightweight riders will benefit the most out of this e-bike getting better range. Even though the XP Lite is rated at 275 pounds, this will stress out the hub motor and potentially lowering the max range and experience overall. Don't just take my word for it. Let's go ask my friend and see what he thinks of the electric XP Lite. 
So this is my first time riding an e-bike. One pro is uh, the seat. The seat is very comfortable. I didn't feel any, um, any soreness or pain while riding it. The speed of this bike, it's, uh, it's pretty fast. The speedometer, it tells you about how fast you're going, how much uh, battery you're using. It has disc brakes. The brakes are uh, pretty good as well. The lights are pretty well lit. As for the cons, I'd like to start with the pedals. The pedals don't have any grip. If you're ever going on any bumps, your feet will slip off. So be cautious about that. There isn't any suspension to begin with. Um, so if you're ever riding on the sidewalk or the road and there happens to be some cracks or potholes, try to avoid it or go a bit slower than usual. Um, overall, I think for this bike, it is a great uh, e-bike for beginners and amateurs. As a first time rider, I recommend this e-bike because it's uh, not too fast, not too slow. It uh, picks up quite some speed of 20 miles per hour. Um, it's very durable, sturdy. It's also very good for the budget, not too expensive, especially for e-bikes on the market right now. I recommend this e-bike. The XP Lite is a phenomenal e-bike. It is great for first riders and experienced riders who are looking at a lightweight alternative and without sacrificing too much power. I recommend this bike for casual riders cruising around locally or even just curious about e-bikes. If you have any questions, feel free to drop a comment down below. What other bike would you like to see reviewed? Like and subscribe for further videos like this. Thank you for watching.